I don't know where she expects me to hang that. My personal waking nightmare. Nothing. Was a surprise? It's just waves of emotion. This was my last Christmas. It's been nice knowing everybody. And I just want to know why she's got a problem with me, you know? I told you what I want. Just get me what I told you that I want. This is fun for whom? My future mother-in-law loves to antique. She got me a collection of salt and pepper shakers from the 1950s. I had an expectation that I might use them at my reception. So I guess I'm having salt and pepper shakers at my wedding, probably with lead paint. So my mom gave me a canvas print with watercolored writing that says live, laugh, love. I don't know where she expects me to hang that because it's not going on these walls. <laughs> no. My fiance got me an open heart necklace by Jane Seymour from Zales. We're now in counseling. Oh yeah, lots of neat gifts this year. My cousin got me a session with a house cleaner. That was nice, but you know, I was watching her scrub the baseboards and I just got real uneasy. So I thought, you know what, we'll get it done in half the time if we do it side by side. We had a great talk. Uh, my best friend got me a massage. Yeah, I mean, is there a part of me that's uncomfortable with somebody waiting on me hand and foot for 60 minutes? Would I call that my personal waking nightmare? No, although I did end up giving Ernie a massage. He'd just been through a divorce this year. He was in no shape to be giving anyone a Swedish anything. So a fun thing that we do every year that my husband is usually a part of is we have our kids videotape my reaction to my presents, which this year wasn't genuine. Well, I saw um, on our statement everything he bought me. So nothing Christmas morning was a surprise. I don't know why cash is so hard <laughs> for some people. Or My grandma, she gave me a peplum top. Doesn't even fit my body type. It's like actually like the worst shape I could possibly wear. Peplum. I know she doesn't hate me, but it kind of feels like she hates me. Peplum. Of course there was no gift receipt. So I asked her where she got it. Tanger outlets. Outlets? Ew. And I don't want to sound ungrateful, but my mother-in-law, who I adore, gave me a pack of Costco women's underwear in the wrong size, in the color gray. And I mean, emotionally, I'm fine now, but it felt like being slapped in the face. It's like she doesn't even know me. It's Costco underpants. It's Costco. My husband um, got me a pooper scooper for our dog. He said that way I wouldn't have to bend over. Sorry, it's just waves of emotion. Bend over. He said that I wouldn't have to bend over to pick up the poop with a shovel. There, I got it out. So he got me a pooper scooper so I could pick up the dog poop without hurting my back. It was so nice of him. So it was so practical. A practical present. I told my family I just wanted to go to a coffee shop and read for one hour. That was the only Christmas gift I asked for, the only thing I mentioned. Just one hour. Just wanted to be by myself, getting some coffee, reading. Instead, my family decided to gift me a New Year's trip to Las Vegas with VIP passes to a club called Extreme. The next. I can't wait. I totally love my Aunt March, uh, but every year she gives me the same thing. She goes to the dollar store, fills up a bag full of bric-a-brac and calls it Aunt Marge's Fun Sack. This year I got a slinky, a butterfly maze with a ball that you have to get from one end to the other, a paddle ball racket, a small pouch of Bisquick, some truly terrifying lotion, a teasing comb, that broke, some votive candles for the 4th of July, and a greeting card for my quinceanera. 
So my family and I are going on a cruise in a few weeks, which is great. My husband booked an excursion as a surprise for my Christmas gift. It involves swimming with sharks with no cage, which sounds horrific to anyone, but especially me. They are gonna eat me. Same. This was my last Christmas. It's been nice knowing everybody. My brother, funny guy, he thought it would be fun for the two of us to take an improv class together. Look, we just say the first thing that comes out of our mouth. We just say things in front of a group of people and there's an expectation that it's funny. You just, and he thought this would be fun. He actually booked us three months of classes every week. There was this one time where my cousin Alyssa, yeah, gifted me a navy blue uh, yearly planner. She could have picked Leopard, Glitter, Lisa Frank. It's navy blue. She had the gall, man, to give me a pen with it. There's no eraser on that. How am I supposed to improvise? She just wanted me to, I guess, write my whole year out and then commit to it. No deviations. And I just want to know why she's got a problem with me, you know? Like, what did I do? My dad, who rocks usually, got me a year of financial planning lessons and not skydiving like I asked. I don't look at my bank account. What am I? So my best friend, she got me a puzzle, 500 piece jigsaw puzzle of my face. And on the back uh, is an original poem that she wrote about our friendship. But I can't read it until I put it all together. Don't overthink this. Nobody checked my Amazon wish list. There's things on there like a hairdryer, dirt devil, new hangers. Dark roast, that's my favorite. There's all sorts of great stuff on there that I really need that's practical and yet nobody checked it. Nope, look, I told you what I want, just get me what I told you that I want or buy me a gift card. You don't need to get creative, all right? This is what happens when you take control away. Just do what I say and the day will be merry. My husband, he got us uh, a day at some kind of like a paintball, um, like an emporium of sorts. Uh, you go and you put on a suit and apparently you fire at one another. That sounds wonderful. I mean, I'm supposed to take one of these, what, like a paint blaster? I don't know what it is, a slingshot? And fire it at my baby boy and my husband? My daughter? I mean, my family who I love more than anyone in the world and they in turn shall fire back at me? This is fun for whom? He's such a freaking seven, you guys. My stomach just growled. <laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> Lunch break. <laughs> Uncle Bob's fun facts. <gasps> Uncle Bob's fun sacks. <laughs> Come on, that's so funny. Sack is a funny word. Bin full of dollar store bric a brac, uh, and she calls it Aunt Mar. Why did I have to say, break a brag? <laughs> She'll be back, she'll be back. She always comes back. Fills up a bin with brick a brag. <laughs> I can't say it. <laughs> I have to get it out, I have to. It's dying to be birthed. It's Aunt Marge's fun sack. I can't say it. Aunt Marge's fun sack. Okay, we got, we got five, we got five. I wish I could say Aunt Marge's fun sack again, but I can't.